What is going on boys and girls? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing. And today we got a little bit of a mixed bag, but it's good fishing. You already know it's good fishing because we made a video. I'm with my boy CJ. And I don't know what Jay's doing back there. He's catching mangroves right now, but catching everything like dolphin, snapper. I'm not gonna ruin it for you. Let's dive right into the video. Good morning, boys and girls. It is one of my first videos in Jupiter of July been gone the whole month but we do have sardines literally everywhere for some reason they're being really skittish and they're on top flicking everywhere but look at that they're just fleeing the scene as soon as you roll up on looking behind the boat oh my god here we go with the old, here we go with the old j machine so you got any words to say Sure. Be honest, Look at these baits flipping literally everywhere. It's absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to turn the GoPro on and help Jake catch some bait since, you know, he's struggling really hard, very standard deal. And we're going to run offshore for dolphin, but let's catch some sardines. But we're catching these. You guys know. Very standard deal. By the way, if you have not seen our new performance shirts, we got the moving weight fishing mutton hooded shirts if you guys would like to purchase one of these shirts or just go browse our website i will have a link down below movingweightfishing.com it would be greatly appreciated they are super super nice and they really protect you from the sun you could literally go like this and you, i don't really wear sunblock much and i'm not getting sunburned like i was or at least tan like i was i didn't really get sunburned but just go check them out This is the bait of choice today, and as is, as always, holding them like that because there's no other way I can hold you without them freaking out. There you go. Beautiful. Stop it. Stop it. Beautiful live sardine. Now, this one's no longer alive because I'm showing you off to him, but he is the best bait in the world, and we're going to catch fish with it. We have about probably 100 baits right now. We're gonna go ahead and get 100 more and then check back in with you. Then we're running offshore. Me and CJ just got the boat in gear, headed offshore, super slow, and we were just rigging everything up to go dolphin fish. We did finish catching bait. We got about 150 baits. What the heck was that? Oh, four pies. I'll show you real quick. Oh my God, look at these raggedy four pies in front of the boat. I hate to see that. Look at all the bait. Absolutely beautiful. Well full of sardines, tell me we're not crushing dolphins, we'll see, but we'll see. Dolphin on. Is there another one? There was, I saw another one now. Did you? Yeah, yeah I, I could have sworn. Just pulled up to a weed line here. One nice one to swim oh, up yeah. to. This isn't a bad one. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, oh, oh Jay! Nice one. That was a good one. Yeah. Damn it. I'm gonna flip this one. Jay just lost a nice one. Get another bait. Let 
him smoke it. Get him. <laughs> oh my god, it's a good one. Is there any more? That looked like, dude, the first one looked like a cow. Well, that's a pretty successful start. I'll take it. I'm chunking. They're gonna. Dude, the first one looked bigger. I'm gonna mini drop them. Oh, he's. Oh! Oh, Jay! We literally, I didn't even turn the GoPro on yet. We just started running out. We're in 600 feet, this little weed line right here. We had baits out for a couple seconds. Like I said, Jay, we just gotta stick it out and let them aggregate around us. It's gonna be hard to keep running offshore. I think those guys are on fish, Jay, out there. We're just gonna have to bump troll this or I don't know. Oh my gosh. That thing's smoking you. Dude, I could have sworn you had a different fish. No, this is nasty. Can't believe you <laughs> aired off and ate it again. Let me flip them. Oh, let me just gaff them. I have a mini throw in my hand. I'm not doing anything. Bring him to me. That was tough for a second there, boys. <laughs> nice little dolphin to start today. The They're all that size. Cannot complain at all with that. We'll take a couple more of those for sure. Only cut those two little ones off that first patch and we're gonna keep going offshore. Hopefully we can catch a couple more. Hopefully we can do a limit today, we'll see. Very dolphin that scout. We just found a weed line. How deep are we in a thousand? Yeah, we're we're pretty deep here. And found a nice slick with a weed line in the middle of nowhere. And there's bait on it, there's slides when we rolled up. Just put the dredge in the water. Look at that thing. Oh boy, I think it's got to find some dolphin for us. So we spent like 10 minutes on this little weed line and nothing came up to the boat, but it's a huge stretch and goes for a couple miles long. So we're just going to bump troll it. We got the dredge out, we're going to nose hook a sardine and hopefully catch a dolphin. Look at the dredge, why would a dolphin we got the dredge out right there. Jay's long, I'm short. See when we get bit. Oh, I just got eight. Yes, Jay. There we go. Gotta just bump troll and find them, boys. We just got tight right here. Oh, yeah. A bunch of them, Jay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. They just caught that one dolphin on the bump troll. I thought I had a dolphin. I thought it was a whole school of them. They're all giant blue runners and stuff. I don't even know what to say about it. I really don't. There's no way all this commotion doesn't call us dolphin noise. Just like this, we got a lot of ground to cover. Go up and down the speed line and eventually find dolphin. If not, keep looking for a different weed line. But that is just grind it out. For like two days after the full moon so who knows who really even knows so we ended up bump trolling that same weed line for probably over an hour you guys only saw a short clip of it it was huge caught one single dolphin up the whole thing we were in probably 1300 feet of water then we ran out a couple more miles didn't see anything ran all the way back in checked multiple weed lines slow 
really, really, really slow. We cut three dolphin all morning, so we just came back in on the reef. You know, standard day of me and CJ here. Nothing's changed. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of mutton snapper fishing. I'm gonna outfish CJ today. Here's here's how this goes, okay? Every single time. I do a little update on the camera. He sends the first bait down every time and catches a mutton. And then doesn't say a single word to the camera because he's just a silent slayer. Nothing from the man in the blue. I'm gonna rig up here and then we'll get baits down. Eight on flat. Now we wait for a bite. Well, who's hey, you or me? Must be you. I hate you sometimes. Is that a mud in? Very jacked up. It's got a mudded. There you go. Hold him up for the camera. You got a double mud in here? You got a nice one? There's no mud in the old chance, my friend. Double arm keeper muttons there from the old J and I. Get a meat car right now. So cheap, guys. My lamp, my lamp, she got tied. Right, I'm gonna. Jay's definitely a keeper. Jay's got like a three pounder back there. I'm gonna go weigh this one. He says not a keeper. Definitely is. 19 incher. <laughs> Love you, bud. Here, Jay, throw yours up here. Got him on the pick gaff. Couple nice mountains, couple dolphin. Came through in a little pack. There you, go, huh? you are. You're What you need is all right. Well, since you just saw, call the bonitas in. I just chumped that bonita up and chummed them. Number one, to get the buttons fired up. Number two, to send a lesson to the bonitas. And number three, I'll show you here in a second. Number three, we got a little mudding strip. Got a nice mutton on. Oh gosh, good one. Five pounder, he says. It's all, it's all we heard from the old J machine. Dude, it's not a giant, but it's a good Oh, it's a good monster. It's a really good monster. Bigger than six, buddy. Oh, you're getting smoked. Oh, you're tight. Oh my god, Jay just smoked a unit. Dude, he's fat. That thing threw down. Wait, did I actually get smoked? Yeah, he rocked that shoulder. Hold him up. Ice from the old J machine. You guys heard me say I was cutting up that bonita. Like he just spit all of it up. Calls him in. That mutton pulled so hard. I was handling him in. He was a fighter. He really was. And you know what? I'm not going to touch him because I don't feel like getting yelled. Pick half from here. Throw him into cool. That dude, that thing's fat, bro. He's been eating the bonita chunks. I just set out a dead dean. Jay put down another live bait. See what happens. What, bro? Did you see that? <laughs> what was that? It's a cob. I know, but why? Like, how, what is? What I don't know. But put a bait on the, the trip. There might gotta be another one. 
dude, we're literally leaving because we see a bunch of kingfish guys. There's Bonita blowing up all over the back of the boat. I'm reeling in the flat line like a 20 pound Kobe is literally chasing it. I'm just gonna swim bait down here. 100% a Kobe, right? It looked awfully big and, and brown. It's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You see him? No, but it's easy on it. You get smoked? Uh, it boils me right here. Literally, war shot I can hook it up. Well, he chased the flat line. No, it's the most Kobe esque head chase. But then again, I don't catch Kobe, so it's, there's no way. <laughs> cut it real quick. Let's get on this. Cut, cut it. Not the Kobe we we're looking for. We're keeping it, right? Yeah, I know. But I'm just putting it in the box. Let's get on this. Point. GoPro just died, CJ caught a blue runner and I caught a nice keeper mutton. What do you know about that, Jay? What do you gotta say? Nothing? No words? I'm gonna put another GoPro in the battery and look at this, boys and girls. That mutton I just caught, caught, coughed up an eel, dude. That's gross. Look at this thing. Yeah, that's for you. Jay's got a nice mangrove here. Pull him off, Jay. He just spit up a sea turtle. Jay says, did you guys see this? Baby sea turtle. He literally just spit up a freaking sea turtle. How insane is that? I'm back at the house, but I just want to go ahead and say real quick before this YouTube video is over that um, you guys saw that baby sea turtle that that mangrove snapper coughed up. Now that's not uncommon at all for this time of year. It happens a lot. It's sad, but it happens. Okay, so from the months June to November, the big, the big giant sea turtles that you see, the green sea turtles, will come onto the beach, lay their eggs, do their business. At night, they'll do it at nighttime so nothing can come and eat them, is the plan. And when the moon comes out, the sea turtles will hatch and they'll go towards the light, they go towards the moon, and that's the water. That's why sometimes, that's why you hear people say like, don't shine a light at the turtles when you see them because they'll get confused, think it's a moon, and then they'll die. It's actually crazy. Most sea turtles, like I think it's like 60 or 70% of the sea turtles that hatch actually do not make it, sadly, for various reasons, one of which being fish eat them. Now let's get to that point. Mangrove snapper, mutton snapper, all snappers come in shallow on the moon, on the moons of from May to August. Those couple moon phases when you get a full moon those snappers will come in shallow anywhere from 50 feet to 10 feet of water and they'll spawn and they'll and they feed they gorge and those turtles are swimming offshore towards the moon and the snapper come in so what do you think happens that turns into the best snapper bait that's why that happened it's going to continue to happen and all i'm saying if if you were legally allowed to fish a sea turtle i don't even, I don't even want to know what would happen It'd be unbelievable. You'd catch some big snappers. But. That is it for me and CJ today. Ended up with four keeper muttons, four keeper muttons, three dolphin, one nice mangrove, and then that AJ. And uh, we're gonna run back in the inlet. All right, you guys, that is it for the day. It's pretty good, can't complain. I'm not eating any fish today because CJ, CJ is giving all the fish to his boss. They're doing a little like fish fry or whatever. So we're giving some fish away as long as someone's gonna eat it. I'm a little bit tired of fish, not gonna lie, but putting the boat on the trailer.
tip, boys and girls. We're out of here. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like on it and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That's a day in the life of moving weight. Till next time, moving weights out.